Good morning, Year 3. Our GPAS starter today is finding alternatives for said. When we are talking about speech, said is dead. So, can you think of some interesting alternatives for the sentences below? Try your best not to use said. Pause the video now and give it a go. What did you come up with? Here are some possible alternatives to said. Admitted, questioned, decided, called, mentioned, moaned, shouted, spoke, mumbled, sneered, fought, stated, scolded, told, giggle, ordered, described, demanded, expressed, exclaimed, denied, urged. There are loads of alternatives. I hope you came up with some. And if you came up with some that aren't on this list, that is amazing. Super thinking. It is Wednesday the 10th of February. Our LO today is to write a fable. Our success criteria is I can follow my plan, I can use speech and I can use paragraphs. Today we are going to finish writing our fable so please grab your box up and grab the start of the fable which you started writing yesterday. Okay so we're going to finish by writing the main part of our fable. Well, the plot, the consequences. So what I've done is I wrote yesterday the jams. I don't pretend I wrote the prunes too, okay? Just to speed things up a little bit. You know how to write. You don't need me going on and on and on for hours. So I'm just going to go on to the last part, which is when they entered the cellar. Okay. The town mouse took the country mouse into the cellar. Oh, stop. Now, I don't want to be boring and say they saw cheese and meat because that's boring, isn't it? So I'm going to say instead the Countries, country, country, mouse is now. Normally, if you want more than one mouse, it would be mice. We're just with this mice is doesn't mean more than one mice. It's just his name. Okay, so that's why I'm gonna do apostrophe then the S because it's his name and it's belonging to him. Okay, so the country's mouse's eyes were. Filled with the most wonderful sights. Oh. There we go, the homophone in got me there. I needed the wrong sights, but. I can't be tricked. Time phone's tricky, but I won't be tricked. Sight. And then I'm going to do short sentences again to make it really exciting. But I want to, rather than say cheese meat, I'm going to think of a little bit of a alliteration. So it's going to use an adjective and it starts with the same letter. So cheese, I could put chunky cheese. Chunky cheese. Exclamation mark. And for meat, I could put monstrous meat, so put loads of it, or mighty meat. Meaty meat? No, that's not a good one. Okay, um, I'm going to put marvellous. Marvellous meats. Exclamation mark. So that looks great now. Now I'm going to talk about the problem, which is the mouse trap. So, country mouse, that's a capital letter, country mouse ran quickly, let's get the adverb in there, to some cheese. Now I'm gonna have someone talking, so I need a 66. And he's gonna shout, stop. Piece the punctuation. 
99. And I'm also saying said, I'm going to say warned, because it's a warning. I could have said shouted. Warned. Town mouse. And then I'll write a sentence explaining why it's been warned, he's been warned, and it's because it is a, a mouse trap, isn't it? So it's not good. So it's your turn to write now. It is time to finish off the main part of your story. This is the main bit of the plot coming to an end, end of the consequence slash events that's happened in your story. Pause the video now and write. Remember, we've got useful starters, such as one morning, a moment later, Later on, all of a sudden, in a far-off land, in the distance, over the bridge, in the meantime, and some helpful tips, use speech, vary your sentence structure, introduce your characters and setting, vary your vocabulary, use a variety of different punctuation, and always write a conclusion. The conclusion will be writing in the second part of the video. Pause the video now and give it a go. Okay, and finally, we are going to write our conclusion to our fable. So in this case, in the town mouse and the country mouse, this is when the country mouse realised that he doesn't want to stay in the town and have all the delicious food because the fright and the scariness is not worth the risk. He doesn't see the food is worth the risk. He'd rather eat in peace and live in peace. So I'm going to say the country mouse went home. Because, it's a good conjunction there, subordinating conjunction, because he realised he would rather eat plain food in peace. delicious food with I'm not about many risks because there was a lot of risks not only did he have the cook and the chef, the chef he also had the cat and he also had the mouse trap that was a lot of dangerous things for a mouse and you wouldn't want to be surrounded by all these dangers all the time so that is the end of my story I don't have to write the end but some papers do end with the end, so I could write the end. So our conclusion just summarises the story and it really brings out the moral. It's when you really realise what the moral of the fable was. Right, it's time to pause the video and write your conclusion. Remember, this is where we realise what the moral of the story is. Did you use speech? Did you use paragraphs? Did you follow your plan? Is the moral clear? Have you used capital letters and full stops? Share your fable with your teacher.